What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to set up your Airbnb listing profile. I learned a bunch of tricks on the way and I'm gonna teach you that. So stay tuned if you need a little help setting up your listing. All right guys, let's jump into a few listings and I'm just gonna show you step by step what I like and how to set up my listings. And then I'll look at a few other listings where I think they can improve. So this is my Chandler place. First, let's go into the location. You guys, when it comes to location, try to stand out as much as you possibly can. You don't need to write the bedroom size and that kind of stuff, because you're already gonna have all that bedroom stuff down here. So when it comes to the title, a great location, uh, maybe a new listing. Definitely highlight some of the features that it has a pool. For me, I'd like to do a lot of work from home, so I'm trying to go after you know home office. And then a full kitchen and barbecue, that's a huge item. So on your title, get creative. I like to use these little emojis sometimes too, just to kind of stand out a little bit. Now when it comes to the photographs, the first one, two, three, four, five are the most important images. Because this is what's really telling you a story. So you want to show the biggest spots and best spots of your listing. So pool is very high up on the list in Chandler, Arizona. So I want to talk about the pool. I want to be able to see the pool. I like to be able to show a bedroom so it looks clean. This is the master bedroom, as you can see here. It looks really nice and clean. You can see it has good light. I talk about the office in my title, so I wanted to go ahead and put it in my first five photos. So this is what you will see here is the office. And then right here you see the kitchen. It looks like a large kitchen. It looks like it's got good lights. People can see the amenities. And then I just chose another room or a photo that I like the best. This is kind of like showing the kitchen and living space, open concept, etc. Also you guys, what's really important is writing captions right here under your photo. I'm not the best at captions, I'll be honest. I'm kind of lazy and I'm a bad writer, but at least write something in your captions. Definitely put a little something. You can see this is my kitchen. I put in my kitchen, you know, kitchen fully stocked with all the amenities. You know, keep it simple. Now let's go ahead and scroll down here. You're gonna have multiple spots to write stuff about this space. So when it comes to about this space, this is the most common. This is where most people write their, their story and then they kind of just stop there. So I like to write just a little something right here. You can write a little story, highlight, you know, that it's walking distance to Starbucks and Whole Foods, off the highway, you know, write a little something, something. But then Airbnb always asks you to write in the space. It says it's optional. Honestly, it's not optional. Every single host should do this. This is where you can get a lot more details on your space. And I'm guaranteeing you, if you put that in there and you put all this stuff down in here, you're just gonna get more bookings and better reviews because they're gonna see what you get. Also, recommendation, I like to leave these little little bulletin, see how I had these little bulletin points? And then I say master suite, upstairs includes bedroom, 43 inch TV, private bath, large bathtub, walk-in closet, office desk. You no, know, like, go ahead and list it out. List out the bedrooms, what the bedroom has, and then you wanna pick like a handful of your top amenities that people can like easily scroll and look at. Dining room, the kitchen, family room, and see how this kind of labels some of the highlights. Also you guys, if you're in a certain area like Scottsdale, Arizona, Chandler, you do have to register and get a TPT license. This is where you wanna put your license number. All right. Now let's jump into well, we'll go ahead and talk about the reviews. You can see right here, I got a perfect five star at 21 reviews. And that really comes down to communication, cleanliness, all that good stuff. Also, you can see where people have left me reviews. And a lot of times we'll go ahead and write a review. So we'll write reviews back to them. It's not mandatory, you don't have to write a review, but honestly, every time you write a review, it just makes you look like a better host. Not only that, you can address any concerns or questions right there. I recommend it. There's no way I can prove that it helps you get more bookings, but I definitely think it does. Now let me just jump into the house rules real quick. When it comes to house rules, you guys, I talk about this a bunch. Don't write this long paragraph. People aren't gonna read it, but 
do make quick bulletin points like this. I like to do quick, quick bulletin points like this one. You know, local guests, please contact me prior to booking. No music of any kind past 10 p.m. You know, I try to keep it as simple as I possibly can. You know, we have noise monitors in our place, so we definitely want to disclose that we have noise monitors. Having noise monitors in your place, you guys, will definitely help detract any rowdy guests or parties or extra guests. The city likes it, Airbnb likes it, but you do have to be very clear that you have this and you have to add this in your listing descriptions. Just a tip, if you have a swimming pool, my insurance makes me add a bunch of jargon for if you have a swimming pool, like no lifeguard on deck, swim at your own risk, no diving, all that kind of stuff. So this is where you would put all that kind of stuff. So you can see, this is how I like to build out my listings. Top five photos, good title, fill out all the descriptions and space, and then add house rules. Let me show you one that I just randomly found, and if the host watches this, it's not good or bad, this is just my input, right? So if I were looking at this place and I was looking for a place in Flagstaff, these first five photos 100% make me not even understand what the place is I'm looking at. The first photo is like a bunch of trees. All these photos are extremely dark. It doesn't look inviting. You guys, photography is everything. Spend the money, get a photographer. It will really make a huge difference. So let's go ahead and just click I'm curious to see what this place is. So it's a cute spot. They got nice furniture, it looks like. They designed it well. It looks like they got a good backyard. Maybe they just want to clean up a little bit in the backyard. Maybe replace this table and the cushions. But it's a, it's, it has a lot of potential. This place is great. It's just the photos do not show the place too well. And some of these photos are a lot better than what they show in the first five photos. So maybe they want to change out some of these photos. They probably get more bookings and let's see if they, you know, wrote in all this stuff. So they did a pretty good job. They wrote in about the space, guest, other things to note, but they didn't really go in detail about what this place has to offer, some of the breakdowns of the details, etc. So look at this. Here's another one in Inglewood, and I'll go ahead and show you my place in Inglewood, and that way you compare which one would you rather book. Look at these photos look like they have like a thumbprint over them. They're very blurry. They're very hard to see. It's hard to really tell what's going on. But as a photographer, I can kind of look past this. They look like a really cute space. It looks like it's private. Uh, it looks clean to me, but you would never guess that with these photos at all. So if I could talk to this person, I would definitely tell them to hire a professional photographer. I mean, look at the difference in their real estate photos. It just really pops. Guaranteed if they got really great photos, they would probably get a lot more bookings and be able to increase their rate. Uh, the title to me doesn't really say much. It says beautiful new home, but the photos definitely do not say that. It does not look that beautiful in the photos because the photos are really poor. Perfect location, what does that mean? Perfect location of what? I, I don't know. So to me, I don't think the title really does much for them either. You know, and they're charging $150 a night, so it's not, you know, it's not super cheap. They got 34 reviews, that's not bad. So, let's look here. See, to me, this makes it just seem like a host that may be unexperienced, or maybe they're just lazy. They are still getting bookings, you guys, so keep that in mind as well. But about the space, they really don't say much here at all. Um, I do like the fact that it's seven minutes away from the Rams Stadium. I would definitely highlight that a lot better. And then that's it, that's all they have. You have no idea what they have in this place. So let me go ahead and compare my, right away. Can you guys tell a difference right away? My title instantly pops out. It lets people know this is in Inglewood right away. I like long stays. I'm 15 minutes away from the airport. We have large rooms and we have great Wi-Fi. And you can see in these first five photos, to me, I look at it, it's bright, nice furnishing. The photo quality is great and I can really get a sense of what the house is in these five photos. I may just book it from the title in these photos alone, and I don't even have to look at all the other photos. I'll go ahead and show you guys. You can kind of scroll through these photos and see a good tip. If you're starting off or you're trying to get more bookings or whatever, you can screenshot some of your best reviews and you can put that in your listing. Sometimes it helps. Sometimes I like to add a few things that are highlight near my space, like SoFi is close, LAX. These are some of this, you know, the inside. You can tell the photos are very crisp. You can see the look, what's inside. 
the TVs, all that good stuff. You can just really see. It looks clean, which is very important when you're doing your photos. Also, you guys, make sure you keep all the toilet seats down in your photos. Just makes your overall look a lot cleaner. So, and then you can see here, let's click here. Right here, about the space, you can see. Home is in Inglewood, 15 minutes from SoFi. It tells a little bit of a story. Book this, centrally located. And then in here, I go in great detail. You can see this home has a lot to offer. So I go in great detail of what this home has to offer. Quick example, master suite includes a bedroom, Sony 55 inch TV, a smart TV, private full bath, shower, bathtub. You guys get the idea. And right here, I go ahead and add a few things like no smoking. We've have had a few issues of people smoking, weed, vapes, whatever. So I try to put this in a few spots, you know, and then we have a fine of up to $800. And then a few other things to note is I let people know that we have a landscaper and trash that comes every Thursday. So at least guests know and they have a heads up. Also, you guys, I learned from the master. I feel like he's the master in the game. He used to work at Airbnb. Now he teaches and coaches. But this guy right here, Danny from Optimize My b, &B he's the one that really helped me show how to optimize my listing. Read his book, check his book out. I'll send the link down below, but you can even hire him to help you set up your listing. So I would definitely go and check that out. All right, guys, I'm in my backyard chilling. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I don't mean to knock on those listings if, if you happen to be watching this video and that was your listing. It's not about that. It's just how can you stand out when you're building your listing? Photos are number one. They're crucial. Take the time, get some good photos, make a good title, but don't waste your title on stuff that you don't need to talk about. You can put that in the description, in the settings. And then with your house rules and all this kind of stuff, you guys, you guys can always update and change. But um, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know.